Welcome to Rackknife, the premier open source online middleware library for games. My name is Kevin Jenkins, and I'll be giving you a quick tour of Rackknife's setup and major features. In front of me is the PC download. If you need console code, contact us. Dependent extensions contain samples that require third party code, including SWIG support for C. Sharp. Help contains the manual in auto generated CHM and HTML format and covers most of the plugins, C Sharp support, compiler setup, and additional videos. Open RackNet Visual Studio 2005 dot solution. Architecturally, there's only one primary class that you have to deal with, RackPeer. RackPeer provides network communications and connectivity. However, RackNet adds value by providing plugins, which work with RackPeer to extend functionality most of the samples that you see listed here are actually a test and demonstration of a plugin. In RackNet, header files have every function and parameter documented, so it's the best place to start looking when you have questions about what a class can do. RackNet solution is divided into libstatic, a static library, DLL, a DLL project, and samples. The first sample I'm going to introduce is the Ehrlich sample. The Ehrlich sample is a first-person shooter demo using the Ehrlich game engine. It demonstrates features including Replica Manager 3, PHP Directory Server, and Map Punch Through, which we'll cover in a future sample. RackNet's Auto Patcher is a client-server-based diff patching system. A server with either a Postgres or a MySQL backend post file. Clients connect to the server and asynchronously apply patches. Command console is used for remote server administration, either securely or by using Telnet. You can easily extend the system to add your own commands. Lobby is one of our largest features. On the PC, it provides a Postgres back system to store user data, such as friends, clans, and email. If you publish through Steam, it provides interfaces to set up rooms and matches and to do network address traversal. On the consoles, the Lobby provides interfaces to go through Xbox Live and the PlayStation Network. Net Punch Through is for PC developers running their own servers. It allows players behind routers to connect to each other. UDP Forwarder allows you to relay messages across other systems in a peer-to-peer -peer network. This is useful if NAT Punch Through does not connect two players successfully and you don't want to host your own servers to transmit game data. SQL Lite enables you to perform SQL commands across the network. This is particularly useful with games when combined with Echo Chamber, which enables you to record screenshots, statistics, and other game-related data. RackNet also provides voice over IP, based on port audio, direct sound, or FMOD. It uses the open source library Speaks to do compression, achieving data rates of about 2K per second. Big Packet Test Chat Example Client and Chat Example Server are good beginner plugins that demonstrate solely how to use RackPeer. Big Packet Test also demonstrates congestion control, sending over a 100 megabyte file over some period of time without significant factor loss. Crash Reporter is a wrapper for Windows Mini Dump where you can send debug info when an application crashes. It's intended for unattended servers. It can send emails, write a mini dump to disk, and take other actions. Delta Directory Transfer is used for peer-to-peer -peer applications to transmit lists of files that have changed between systems. It's useful if you don't want to run a server backend for the auto patcher. Encryption is used for secure network connections, preventing unauthorized users from reading, 
modifying or intercepting your game's package stream. File list transfer helps you send lists of files with progress notifications. It's a more general backend used by directory delta transfer. Fully connected mesh is used with peer-to-peer -peer games. An added feature is the ability to determine who is the host of a peer-to-peer -peer session. Here I run three instances of a peer-to-peer -peer application. The first instance that runs is the host. As I close the remaining instances, the host is transferred to the other system. Packet Logger records RackNet messages to various destinations, useful for debugging or submitting bug reports. PHP Directory Server 2 stores and retrieves tables and information to a PHP file that you store on your web host. Replica Manager 3 tracks your game objects and automates the networking for replicating them across the network. As objects are created, destroyed, or serialized differently, those changes are pushed out to other systems. RPC3 depends on the third-party library boot. While for some this is a major, major hurdle, to me it's worth it. Boost is a free open source download and used with RPC3 enables you to call C++ functions on remote system as if they were local functions. No binding or serialization of functions is required. An extension to RPC PC3 is the concept of signals and slots. A signal is essentially an event, while a slot is essentially a callback handler to that event. Signals and slots can be serialized and transmitted automatically and synchronized across all systems. The advantage of this is that you no longer have to actually do network programming. Instead, you use an event-based mechanism to signal and trigger events across systems, such as game over, or player score. RPC4 is used for developers that do not want to use Boost. It provides a simple association of strings with function pointers to call on remote systems. Team Balancer lets you organize teams in either peer-to-peer -peer or client server. Peer-to-peer -peer is what adds value to this class. It is otherwise very hard to get systems to agree to teams to make sure those teams are balanced and do so correctly working with latency and systems joining and leaving the session. This covers the major features of RackNet. For additional support, please see the RackNet forum. Thanks for your time and good luck with RackNet.